Uh, my name is Dr. Daniel Pang. Um, I'm an assistant professor in the Veterinary Clinical and, and Diagnostic Sciences Department at uh, UCVM. Through working in one of our local clinics where we do clinical research, I'd heard about a rooster that they'd had turned into them that unfortunately lost both of its feet, probably due to frostbite. As a result of having a, an office a couple of doors down from Dr. Mark Hungren for a few months, I knew that he had a 3D printer in his laboratory where we thought that perhaps there'd be the possibility of him building or printing out 3D feet for this uh, rooster to use as prosthetics. My name is Douglas Condro and I'm a mechanical engineering student at the Schulich School of Engineering at the University of Calgary and I'm specializing in biomedical engineering. I was given the project to create some sort of uh, prosthetic for this rooster so that he'd be able to walk normally and live a normal life. My first steps were just to look through different feet. So for example, I had a T-Rex foot that I printed off. I had some simple rooster feet that I printed off. And these were hopefully something that I could use as templates for the model. But what I found, it was quite difficult to find exactly what I needed. So I used a turkey foot and I 3D scanned that in, and that's where I got the model itself. I would use the 3D printer and these 3D printers print with PLA, which is a hard plastic. This is an example of the 3D foot that I would use as a template. And once I was completed, I'd take a mold of his foot itself and put it, place it in, and I'd paint on silicone onto it, which was flexible and soft for the rooster. And I'd get a final product where the foot itself is quite sturdy and quite flexible. So even though things really started out purely by chance, this collaboration is, is really a very good example of how clinical sciences can, can tie in with basic researchers to try and solve a very real and very, um, very acute problem. Working on creating prosthetics or simulators for animals or humans is something that is my end goal. And working on a project like this was a really good opportunity for me to pursue that. If things work out well in the long term, there's certainly the possibility of looking into exploring other avenues, either with other birds with similar kinds of damage or other species such as uh, dogs and cats.